I'm going to take the output saved from an Abilink measuring machine uh, directly to a step file that effectively is capturing all of the values of uh, the geometry of a particular test piece. And this is the geometry that I have in SpaceClaim. My task to start is to get this information into a format that is more usable. So let me start by first of all taking off all of the surfaces. And I'm just going to pick the faces on the top of all of these cylinders that have been measured by the Abilink measuring machine. And I'm just going to make them extremely large and oversized. And as you can see, what that has done has created far less numbers of solids and I've added all of those together. So having oversized those, and you'll see why in, in a little while, uh, I will come back to them in a short time. I need to make the main block, and the main block is made up of um, a solid that touches pretty much all of these faces. So let's just start by picking the bottom face and pulling it up to the top face to start creating the solid. And if I just pull this face up to this face, it actually extends the part. Uh, and by the way, if the uh, faces are at an angle, space claim would create the up to to be angular to. And let's just pick the last two. So I'm going to pull this face and we're going to effectively get up to here. So we've pretty much got what we need. There's just a few shapes that we need to work with. And uh, to do that, let me just display my solid uh, in a see-through manner briefly. So as you can see I've got these faces that I need to also work with and I'm going to go back to my pull command which uh, I use most of the time and as I pull I'm going to make it subtract any geometry as it goes. And I'm going to do the same with this face too. So pull it to a minus, and I'll just remove that uh, result. And if I pick the bottom face of that solid and go up to, there's a face below here, just to make use of that surface too. So now what I'd like to do is to turn off all of these surfaces um, that I don't need anymore. I'm going to go back to displaying this solid as a true solid. And you can see there's a little bit of tidying up that I need to do. So let's pick the bottom face of this angle. And we need to tidy up both these sides. And you can see the pull command is very neat and very efficient taking data that we uh, want to just remove. So I've just about got the outside or the main block with the cutouts that I can uh, carry on and reuse. So let's just turn the model this way. And now I'm going to pick these solids So I'm going to now remove those solids and all I need to do is pick the main solid, pick those elements and I'll just remove the parts that I don't want. So I'm just going to pick all of these. I could pick them by a box selection as well. So as you can see very quickly we've taken data that has been sourced from uh, feedback from an Abilink CMM machine 
and created the solid that uh, that was being measured. Uh, I hope you find this uh, this video uh, informative and interesting. Thank you.